pins. The next thing we're going to do to modify this AR lower is, since I'm a left-handed shooter, the safety, it works, but I'd really like to be able to hit it with my thumb while my trigger finger is on the trigger, rather than having to move my trigger finger up here to select safe, safe, or semi fire. This way, hopefully, I'll be able to hit it from over here. So we're going to do that, and to do that, you have to take off the grip, which holds the spring and the detent for the safety. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an ambidextrous safety on there so I can have options. If I have a right-handed shooter shooting it, they have the left-hand side, which is stock. Or for me shooting it or any other left-handed, they can flip it off on this side. So we're going to put that in, and so we're going to show you how to do that really quick too. So to start off with is you're going to have to take, depending on your grip, it depends on what grip you have, every gun is going to be slightly different. You're going to take your bottom part off. And then down in there, you will have inside the grip. I don't know if you can see it. There you can. There's a little nut holding on the grip onto the lower. So you got to take and with a big screwdriver, unscrew it. And usually there's Loctite on that screw or something to keep it in place. So it might be kind of a bear, depending on how long it's been on there. But so I've got that pretty much all the way out. And now I need to just wiggle my safety off, or my, my grip off, being careful of this spring that's right here between the safety and the grip. And there's also a detent in there. If I flip that over, my detent just fell down. So there's your detent right there. So now I can take out my safety. And actually open up the ambidextrous safety. These can range in price from anywhere from like 15 bucks to probably a couple hundred bucks. If you really wanted to spend that, I don't know why you would. This one I got out at Brownells, it was like 32 bucks or something like that, which is a little bit more than I wanted to spend, but it is what it is. So then you've got an Allen head on both sides of that. So I'm going to take that Allen head off. You only have to take it off on one side. You don't have to do both. Honestly, I don't know why they put it on both. And so it's got detent selectors in both spots. So now that we've got our safety all the way through there, you're going to want to take the other side of the safety, make sure you put it on correctly so they're both facing the back of the rifle that time. You want to make sure they're facing the right same way. And then put the Allen head bolt in here and tighten it. So you want to tighten it to pretty much what uh, you're comfortable with. Don't strip the screw out. So then the next thing we want to do is put the safety detent with the pointy side up, if you can see that, into the hole for the safety selector. I'm going to wiggle it down in there. I'm going to put the spring, slide it back into the hole, and then you want to slide your grip up without kinking the spring. And once your grip's mostly all the way up there, tighten the screw down. Until you get it tight, and now you have a safety. So I can either do it with this thumb, or if I'm using my left hand, I can do it with this, this hand right here. So 
that way it's ambidextrous you can use it for whatever side you want to shoot for and it's, it's pretty easy to do that way just to make sure it works right now it's on safe pull the trigger not moving fire it releases it goes forward fire releases resets back to safe doesn't work so it's working just fine that's all there is to that